Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well today I'm playing a mono blue deck that was sent in by a subscriber of the channel. Shout out to Sam Corona. If you would also like to see one of your decks featured on the channel, join our Discord down below and it just might happen. But before we get into that, I want to make an announcement. We are going to be giving away two set booster boxes to two different subscribers when we hit 2500 subscribers and we are so close so do me a favor hit that subscribe button it's fast it's free and it means the world to me but it's also going to mean something to you because you'll have an opportunity to win one of two boxes also don't forget to comment and rate this video by the end please okay let's get into it what do we have mono blue mimic once again thank you to sam corona don't forget to join the discord so that you can send us deck lists as well or try to involve get involved with the community and all that kind of fun stuff um Let's start off with our removal package, which in this kind of deck isn't removal, it's just tempo, because mono blue just doesn't have a removal. We have four copies of Fading Hope and four copies of Divide by Zero. Divide by Zero is going to go ahead and get us into our sideboard, which has two environmental sciences. You got to hit land drops in a deck like this. You just can't miss them. Two teaching of Archaics, which is the one I usually go for the most if I don't need environmental science at the moment. We want to keep our hand full. And then lastly, we have three copies of Mascot Exhibition just to get a lot of creatures on the board when need be. Then we have our draw package. We have four copies of Consider and we have four copies of Memory Deluge, probably one of the best draw cards in the game at the moment, in my opinion. And then it is called a Mimic deck. Uh, the flare isn't a Mimic, but it, it fits in this section, in my opinion. We have four copies of Glasspool Mimic. You can throw that as a land, but I, I really suggest you don't. We have 26 lands as it is. We have four copies of Mirror Hall Mimic. One blue, three colors for a creature spirit. You may have Mirror Hall Mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's a spirit in addition to its other types. And then you can disturb it for two blue, three colorless, enchantment aura, enchant creature. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that is a copy of enchanted creature, except it's a spirit in addition to its other types. If ghastly mimicry would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. So first, when it comes out, we're going to be copying whatever the strongest creature on the board is. It's probably going to be one of your opponent's creatures or one of your opponent's creatures that you've stolen. Um, and then if this dies late in the game, when we have five mana plus, we can go ahead and throw it on its enchant creature side. You can throw that on your opponent's creatures and you're going to start making spirit tokens for yourself copying theirs so the first one um you, you know maybe let your opponent in with it the second one then you start chump blocking it that way you have um copies of it so kind of an interesting card there and then we have four copies of mind flare really frustrates opponents when you steal their creatures and that's exactly what we're doing with this deck and then at the top end, as far as our creatures go, we have four copies of cyclone summoner so besides being able to mimic our opponent's stuff Kind of what you're trying to do is get the deck to a point to where you can drop a Cyclone Summoner. You bounce everything, including your opponent's stuff and your stuff. Even if you bounce your own stuff, that's good. So you had a Mimic, a Flare, or a Glass Pool Mimic on the board. It was copying other stuff, or you stolen some of your opponents. You throw the Summoner, now you've got a 7-7. Seven, seven. Now what you're going to be doing is every turn after that, you're going to be throwing a Glass Pool copying the Cyclone. Your current Cyclone stays, all their stuff bounces, you attack with the 1. The next turn, you do it again. Now you have 2 you're going to win the game really, really fast. You keep bouncing all their stuff, but you get to keep yours out. And if they have two creatures out and one of them happens to not be a giant, then you throw one of these, you bounce everything, then you steal the giant with the Mind Flayer. It's a pretty fun interaction. And then we are mono blue, so we do have two Alan's Epiphanies in the deck. In a mono blue deck, I think this card is a lot less um, cheesy than in a lot of other decks where you can manipulate it or just keep taking advantage of it because this deck has no true removal. And you kind of need to get to a point to where where you have a board state, you can Aaron's Epiphany and just win the game that way. Mono Blue is a tricky deck to play, I will tell you that. So it kind of needs the two copies. And then our land, we have 22 snow-covered islands, and those are there because of the four faceless havens. So that way we can get around board wipes and we have a mana sink. Mono Blue is a very tricky deck, so I hope you enjoy this gameplay. Speaking of which, it's just one game because it's 10 minutes. We are focusing on trying to shorten our videos. It is a YouTube algorithm thing. I do apologize to you who like those 30, 40 minute videos. We are trying to cut them down to 20 minutes or less as an experiment for a little while. So please hold on and just stick it out with us. If it doesn't work out, we'll go to the longer format. So please stick around till the end for the summary. And without further ado, let's go ahead now and get into that gameplay. Ultra Mega X5. Okay. When we go first, we have a snow-covered island and a faceless haven. Consider fading hope. Divide by zero. Alan's epiphany and a cyclone summoner. Let's go ahead and lead off with a snow-covered island, and then we can consider at the end of their turn. 
Looks like we got some black coming at us. Uh, let's... Yeah, it's too, exp te too expensive. We can play it later. We gotta get stuff out that we can do. Play our other land. Um, this turn we're just gonna go ahead and put the Epiphany into Fortel. Pass it back to the opponent. Professor! Never seen this deck before. And it hits for one. Well, let's throw the Glass Pool Mimic out as a land. And the turn. I twitch. Yep. Environmental Sciences does the trick. Uh, I want to see what my next card is. I don't think we need to fade. The I definitely don't want a fading hope that. I think... I think we just take this. Yeah. I'm going to consider. Um, got we, we, we got to find something better than draw right now. Something that I can actually do this turn. Throw out another blue. Or turn away from the Mind Flare. Go divide by zero and fading hope that we can do this turn. So let's go ahead and end the turn here. Uh, we're in a rough spot. There's their land. They're going to tag us for four. Just one. Um, okay, we'll take that. We take our turn. Another land it is. Let's throw that snow-covered land out. Let's go ahead and mine flare their eye twitch. Here comes maybe a lull. Okay, they pass it back. We're gonna throw another island. What do we got here? Three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead. And swing with both. Okay, they're going to double block that, so that's okay with us. We're going to Fading Hope the Eye Twitch back to their hand. Okay, they're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to... We're going to divide that by a zero. There we go. Like, let me let me do that. And let's go ahead. We have enough to go ahead and grab two battlefield. They have a lot of cards in their hand. We could mascot, but I think we're going to be doing teaching. They grab another environmental science, so they have <clears throat> something good in their hand. They go ahead and do another deadly dispute. We go ahead and hit them for one. Here comes maybe Onyx. Meat Hook Massacre. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a mascot exhibition now. There's their environmental science. Mind Flare. I don't mind Mind Flare at all. Let's go ahead and throw the Faceless Haven. Um, we might be throwing a Cyclone Summoner soon. So let's do the mascot. They probably have another board white, but that's fine. We're baiting that out on purpose. Yep. 
Introduction to Prophecies to play. We'll throw another land out and we mind flare, we can hold up nothing. There's no We do this. If we bounce this, then they get um that back. See so one, two, one, two, three, four, five. They can do it for six. They can't kill this outright yet. Let's try it. I mean they do get meat hook back. And they get to recast this. But like I said, we gotta try to make some proactive plays. If they want to meet hook for seven, well, they have to wait a turn. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they can't do it this turn. They might have direct, you know, count or direct removal. Point shoots. Blood on the snow for one creature, not bad. For an eye twitch. get another land let's go ahead and throw that out um, I still have my memory deluges and my hours epiphanies let's just keep trying to wear them down we're gonna go ahead and throw the mind flare we're gonna take the eye twitch they're gonna meat hook massacre deadly just okay that resolves Let's go ahead and, oops, resolves. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. And end the turn. It's two blood on the snows. Meat hook massacre, we already knew that was coming. Just for, just for the one creature, so that's fine. Professor coming down. I mean, they've almost used all the cards in their sideboard, right? Another professor. Okay. Let's consider. Um, I mean, let's just take all the land we can, I guess, for now. Another land it is. Let's mind flare. One of these. Let's mind flare. The other one. Force them to board wipe again. It's fine with me. Lolf coming down, huh? Okay. Ah, you reek with terror. Okay. Aren't I generous? Okay. Nice. Let's throw out this. Let's consider first. Um, let's... I'll decline. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and throw the epiphany. Let's uh, throw the glass pool mimic. Let's copy the Mind Flare. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. Let's see, all attacks. So I don't think we want to attack, no attacks this turn, because then we won't be able to kill this. Uh, first things first, I'm going to Memory Deluge. Um, it's a Cyclone Summoner and a Cyclone Summoner. Let's go ahead and grab both of those. Let's go ahead and next, next, all attack, whoops, wait, you attack here, you attack here, you have menace, you attack here, you attack here, you attack here. Now I'm going to bounce those back to my hand. So that guarantees that Loth dies, right? Doom, 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 yes, four attacks, next. They're going to get this you back, but they're running round, but short I'll anyways. Um, they, they lose this, lose this, and just get back that. And I get my Mind Flayers back in case they try to board wipe. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then let's end the turn. I have a Mind Flayer and a Glass Pool left over. Another Cyclone Summoner. So we're just going to be doing one of these a turn. 
Every turn now. <laughs> There's the meat hook for a whole lot of mana. Okay. Come. Cool. And we're going to start attacking with Faceless Havens. Another land. So, five, seven. Yeah, I can attack with the Faceless Haven and still hold up um, a memory deluge. So, let's go ahead and attack for four. <laughs> we wore them out. They can't handle it anymore. Yes! Okay, Brew Crew. That is going to do it for Mono Blue a Mimic. And once again, thank you very much, Sam Corona, for the deck. I don't know if you're a subscriber to the channel for a long time or not, but if you have been, then you know that Mono Blue is probably the archetype that I am the worst at. But that means I enjoy playing it because I like getting better at all archetypes. It's the opposite of my favorite, which is Mono Red Aggro mono blue control so um we're not going to make any changes to the deck because it is a subscriber submitted deck and i don't want to go tearing it apart and i think they did a great job the only thing i did do and i think it was an oversight on sam's part because um i did uh take out four snow covered islands and add in four faceless havens and there's no other reason in the deck to have the snow covered islands so i think uh, when they wrote the deck list up to me it was just an oversight but other than that, I didn't change the deck at all. You did a great job. Let's just real quick go over what I think you should or shouldn't be spending wild cards on. So uh, Memory Deluge to me is a snap craft. I think this card is amazing, especially if you're ever going to be playing blue. Glasspool Mimic is a land. And if you watch the channel at all a lot, then you know I think lands are safe to craft. So this one, though, it's kind of buyer beware because it's not a land you put in a lot of decks. So just be careful depending on how many wild cards you have there. I don't think it's a bad craft, but I don't think it's a good craft. I think it's right in the middle. I think it's up to you based on how many wild cards you have. But it's definitely necessary to play this deck. I'll tell you that. Um, Mirror Hall Mimic, I haven't seen this in a whole lot of decks. If you have a lot of wild cards, craft it. If you don't, maybe just stay away from this deck. I'm going to say the same thing with Mind Flayer. I think Mind Flayer is a little safer to craft than a Mirror Hall Mimic because I have seen this in some blue control decks that splash other colors as well so this one's a little bit less iffy than the mirror hall mimic cyclone summoner has been a beast in certain metas before and i think it can be a, a well not a beast i guess a giant wizard but uh i think this is a safe craft but i do want to say once again buyer beware if you don't play these kind of decks you won't be playing it a lot but it does go in a great um not is it shell. i think there is an is it shell but it goes in a great simic shell as well um, and then lastly, the Auron's Epiphanies are uh, easy. Craft away. If they end up restricting or banning it or something, then you'll get your cards back. I don't think they're gonna. The more and more I play it, the more I think it's okay at the moment and standard. But those are a safe craft. Oh, and then I forgot. Uh, Faces, Havens, or Lands. So those are completely safe. And then over here, I think I've been using Teaching Archaics a lot. I think Crafting 2 is completely fine. Mascot Exhibition, you need at least one. If you don't want to craft three, because that could be expensive, just fill it in with some different lessons. So really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be part of the giveaway where we're giving away two set booster boxes to two lucky subscribers when we hit 2,500 subscribers. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so you know whenever we have new content come out. Please don't forget to not only comment, but um, also rate the video. We get a point for both, but if you do both, we get four. So it's greatly appreciated, and it'll help us hit that 2,500 subscriber mark. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.